And we'll begin to work with the church modes now, playing through the key signature using C major. So, of course, we have Ionian, which is the primary major scale. And then we're going to have Dorian, which is the second scale, and that will start on D. Watch carefully the fingering patterns as I will call out the fingers. Starting in the second fret, one, three, four, two, four, one, two, four. Now let's move on to the third scale set, and that is called the Phrygian. The Phrygian is going to be based on the E note for the third set. So I'll put my first finger on the third note, which is E, starting on the fourth fret. The fingering is one, two, four, up, skip over, one, three, four, up, one, three. to the fourth note which is going to be the Lydian. The Lydian gets us back into a major sound. If you notice the last two were minor sound. The Lydian will start with the fourth set scale and it will be on the fifth fret today. We have one three. One three four. One three four. Then the fifth set is going to be the Mixolydian. The Mixolydian is actually used a lot in popular culture, especially with your early rock and some of your blues and jazz. It's also been deemed, Mixolydian has been deemed the uh, dominant uh, major chord. And so you'll hear it basically with a C7, a G7, any type of seventh added on is going to be derived off the Mixolydian. And you'll hear it. We start with our G on the fifth fret. We have one. Sorry, G on uh, on the seventh fret. One, three, one, two, four, one, two, four. Then we move on to our next minor. And the next minor is on the sixth scale note, and it's going to be for the note A. And A is going to be called Aeolian, which is our minor mode. That's the one we hear in the minor scale. So you'll recognize it being played on the uh, ninth fret, the Aeolian. For the first finger, move over. So it is just your regular minor scale. Last but not least, we have our Locrian, which is using the final seventh note of the scale. And it, as you know, it's a half step back up to your original tonic. So it does have a very odd quality to it. It's not a minor as much as it's more of a diminished sound. So this is where we get a lot of our diminished chord tones and diminished chord, uh, scale tones. So we'll start what sounds like the half note leading up to the tonic. So you'll realize we get to the 12th fret. We have starting on the 11th fret. One, two, use your third finger. Hop up, scoot over. One, two, three. Hop up. One, three, four.
is our church notes staying within a key signature, in this case, C major. So stay tuned for the actual chord, uh, church chord warm-up as we'll go through all the notes while staying within the signature. Thank you. 